got kind of an unusual job today. Uh, here on my bench, I've got an old Rickenbacker 4001 base, and it came in for a refret. Uh, however, I've never seen this before. This is very unusual. What happened was somebody turned this into a fretless base, uh, but rather than removing the frets that were in there, they just ground the whole thing down right to the right to the fretboard and left the tangs of the frets in there. Let me get a close up, check it out. So as you can see, this is actually the the metal of the fret tang. And uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to get this out. After thinking about it, I think that the only way I can really get this out is to remove the binding. That way I'll be able to get at the uh, tang from underneath and force it up, pry it out. Um, so here we go. So as you can see, I managed to get the end of the fret up just enough that I can grab it with my uh, fret pullers. Uh, but if you noticed, I was using this uh, six inch steel rule to press the uh, rosewood back down because it wants to chip up. Taking the binding off, um, the reason I took the binding off was actually two reasons because uh, obviously, I had to get at the underneath underneath the tang um, to poke it out, so to speak. But also, uh, these tangs are actually pretty shallow. The uh, the slots for the new frets are going to have to be cut deeper, um, and so that's another reason that uh, getting those the side bindings off was a, a good idea. And this just wants to chip up all over the place. So once I get this fret out, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do to minimize the chip out damage. There's the, there's the old tang. So this, that fret didn't chip too badly. There are a couple of chips right there. I'm just going to pat them down. And then I'm going to use some water thin CA glue. And just spread it over the chipped area. And that will fuse everything back together and prevent it from chipping even more when I go in there with a fret sl slot saw to deepen the, the slots. It's just an old guitar string that I'm using to apply the CA glue. There we go. So that's all sealed now. You don't have to worry about losing any of the chips or them popping out again when I rework that slot. And I'll do that for all the rest of the frets. Wow, that was a tough one. Let me just say I really earned my money on this job.